So this is the newest addition to the uh, RC lawnmower, and the most inevitable one. Anything that runs on batteries, well, you got to charge it. So what I did was I took the wheelchair charger that was uh, that came with the wheelchair, and I looked it up online, and it's got a or actually I looked it up online, but then the little sticker here told me more than uh, what I could find online. This charger is good for 200 amp hours of batteries and between those four U1 batteries right there I've probably got 200 or less so it works out to be a good charger um, which is good you know now I don't have to go buy one um, wiring it up was maybe a little weird I thought about cutting off that white Molex connector and you know just doing some whatever and then I pulled out the piece of plastic that it was connected to, or that the original connector was connected to, right here. And it had this handy dandy uh, DC ampers. Uh, it's not working. Oh, there we go. So it started out with zero, and it slowly worked its way up to two. First I thought it was broke. I mean, look at that. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, but there's a fuse on the other side, too. Man, that wire is tiny. Look at that. So, whatever. I rerouted the way the switch worked. Um, it used to be there were two... come two, These two came out, and then the two that were here came in here. But for another six inches, I think it would be okay with just a single uh, piece of 12 gauge. Um, I guess eventually I'm going to put that on a relay. This way the switch doesn't have to bear the brunt of that. But um, for testing purposes, I think I'm okay. Uh, yeah, so look how tiny that wire is compared to everything else. This 24, this charger puts out 5 amps, and it's got 3 stages. So it's smart enough to charge the batteries correctly. And it's going to charge a 24 volt load. So now I don't have to use the 12 volt charger that's meant for charging car batteries, which take a different kind of charge than something like this. Um, so I think this will work out a lot better. The only drawback is now I have to wait and wait. Something like this is probably an overnight charge, which means it'll probably be tomorrow, which means I can't mow my grass. I'm excited about mowing my grass because it's fun. I was out there earlier today. I thought maybe the batteries, uh, the sir, the motors were overheating, um, and that's why I slowed down. But after after it started uh, slowing down to the point where it would hardly move, I um, checked the battery voltage down to 11.0 ish per battery, which is pretty low. Um, they say you don't want to take a, a nominal 12 volt cell or 12 volt battery and run it any less than 10 volts. So I think uh, I used up most of the capacity yesterday, which is kind of odd that you know these are 40 ish amp hour batteries and I went through 160 amp hours in an hour. Um, I mean, I guess if that's what it is, that's what it is. They reuse batteries to start with, so maybe they have reduced capacity. It just seems a little odd. Of course, it could be that they didn't have a full charge either, because I had previously charged them with the car charger and not this um, deep cycle charger. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's back up to 2 amps. And uh, go from there. Figured out a good way to, uh, since the motors were getting ridiculously hot, um, I figured out a good way to make a heat sink. I bought some hose clamps and got some copper pipe outside that's no longer suitable for copper pipe, for being copper pipe. So what I'm going to do is make some fins out of the copper pipe. I'm going to flatten the pipe and then bend it at like a 30 degree angle or something and use a set of hose clamps. Uh, I figure I can get three fins on the top. Um, actually, I don't think I'll be able to get as much as I wanted to on there. I'll probably be able to put six. Uh, 
Somewhere between six and nine fins on the top. I was thinking I could do as much on the bottom. I'm going to try the top first on both sides. I had thought about using some computer heat sinks, and that actually might work out better. But I'd have to remove a whole bunch of t material to make it um, fit the rounded shape. And I got a text message. Um, so that's about it for now.